Hello! Today I'm going to show you some gua sha for the neck and the chest areas and the reason for this is every muscle group here feeds the neck and the face. So whilst it's also important for us to exercise the face and work out the face and massage the face as well as the rest of our body, when we're also fo we're focusing on the face conversely we also need to work on the shoulders and the neck and the chest and the areas that fund the circulation that work up to the neck and the face. So if we want to have glowing skin in our face, if we want to have good circulation and lymphatic drainage, we want all these areas to be nice and soft and relaxed. When there is tension and stress in the tissues there's going to be blockageness. There's going to be stagnation and stagnation, as I always say, is the absolute impediment to vitality. So we want to make sure that as well as doing a gua sha on our face, we also visit these areas a little bit lower down to keep everything really working beautifully. And as women, really, really important to keep the chest area lymphatics working really well. So really good to check into the breasts and the chest area with the lymphatics as often as you can think of it. We're going to use the Beauty Restorer tool here and we're going to start off here on the thymus point. So I'm taking the curved edge and I'm going to rock it like this. So that's the move that I'm doing and it's right in. See the breasts are here and you're going right into the center point here and you're rocking up and down and once you get it into that edge oftentimes you'll find it's a little bit tender. This is a really good immune system point. Also really good if you ever suffer from depression or anxiety, this is a nice one to work on. So maybe six to eight times with the rocking, not too much. And then we're gonna move into opening and relaxing the chest. So what we're gonna do is take our hand here, we're gonna turn the tool so it goes here, it's here, and I'm gonna follow my hand with the tool out to the side. Now keeping that tool really, really flat to the skin, so it's hardly at an angle at all and I'm scooping the skin along. And while you're doing this, just remembering to breathe nice and slowly. And you can come up a little bit higher and follow up till it hits that bone at the side of the shoulder there. So you can follow the clavicle. And our deep, calm breaths really help the lymph move through the body. And then we'll come back down to our starting position. Take your hand across, smooth out the skin. And moving here. And there's not a lot of pressure. We're working with the lymph here. So nice and gently across. If you have a lot of breast tenderness around your menstruation time, doing this practice daily is one of the ways that you can really help to eliminate that breast tenderness by getting the lymph working really well. Maybe six to eight times and then we come up on that diagonal line till we hit the corner of the shoulder. And the purpose of the other hand is just really to hold the skin taut so we're not pushing the skin, over stretching the skin here. And then we're going to come up to the clavicle and we're going to take the heart shaped tip. If you don't have really pronounced collarbones like me, you can come above and below and go in one movement. For me that feels horrible, it's so bony. So I'm just gonna come underneath. So I'm just coming underneath. Again, about six to eight times. And then I'm gonna come above. So I'm not on the bone, I'm just off the bone. It feels really not pleasant when you're on the bone. Okay, so we switch sides. We're going up and under. and then above. Okay, so then we're gonna to come to the neck gua sha. We're gonna start on the back of the neck. We will start on the back and we're gonna use the heart shaped and it's gonna come either side of the spine and I'm moving it up the spine at this angle with the heart shape either side of the bones. So again, we're not on the bones. And because we're working into muscle tension here, to release the muscle tension, we can put a little bit more pressure in this area. It's not like the lymph where we have it completely flat. So leaning forwards, if the bony bits are sticking out too much, bring your head back. And we're just taking it up here, up into the hairline. You can do a little wiggle at the top there. And again, about six to eight times. And you let your body be the guide. If there's a sore spot or a tender spot, you can work there a little bit more. Or you can go more gently there. Trust that your body's going to give you the signals that you need if you're listening to it. 
And then we're going to come off to the right hand side and now we're going to take this side of the tool and we're going to go up. So the right hand side of the neck at the back all the way up into the hairline, 45 degree angle. And again, we're smoothly going up and it's like we're massaging into those tissues and you can use the pressure that feels right for you. Six to eight times on the right side, switch it, make sure you're using this side. I'm just holding my hair out of the way. Um, I just find that that's the easiest, but you don't have to do that. And then we're gonna to come to the side of the neck. So again, the same side, but I'm coming up the side to the corner where the jaw and the ear meet. And then over to the other side. And you can use the left hand or the right hand. Depends on how you feel comfortable holding that tool. You can do it a lot slower than I'm doing for the purpose of the demo. I'm going to go a little bit faster today so that it's not the longest demo, but you could take like 30 minutes doing this if you wanted to. So now at the front of the neck, at the side, going up. And then I'm going to come to the front of the neck at the side, going up again. And then I'm going to come to the front of the neck, going up with the heart and very, very feather light here over the thyroid area, just five times to balance the yin and the yang. So we don't normally work this area, but if we're working the back of the neck, we just want to do that a couple of times. So we've gone up the whole way down whole way around and now we're going to come down so we're coming down we're doing the same movement but it's feather light and it's flat to the skin so it's just the lymph so i'm coming to the neck i'm coming down with the heart shaped bits either side of the neck bone slower and lighter so we're draining away any of the lymph we've released then we come to the side keeping it flat so I'm on the right side of the back of the neck, completely flat with that tool following down towards the shoulder, draining off that limp, going to the other side, keeping it flat. I'm at the back of the neck, not at the side of the neck, and I'm not going over the bones. And I'm going to come to the side of the neck and keeping it flat, and I'm coming all the way down. So flat and all the way down. And if the hand movement is tricky in the beginning, don't worry about it, you'll get it. It's just about familiarity with the tool and trusting your hand. And then to the other side, I'll see if I can show you. Yeah, there we go. So I'm flat and down. I'm not like this, I'm flat and down. And then I'm gonna to come to the front side flat and down. And the other side. I tend to be more comfortable using my right hand all the way, all the time. That's the way that I do it, but lots of people like to use both hands. And then release, then we'll take this soaring motion underneath the chin here. So I have got it at an angle here, just getting into the lymph that gets really blocked underneath the chin when we look down at our phones a lot. So other side. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you a new pose that's really good for sculpting the cheek. You come up under the jaw and all the way up to the cheekbone and release. So we're following the contours. Again on the other side, so up under the cheekbone to the contours there. And release, and you're done. I hope you enjoy practicing your neck gua sha. Let me know how you get on, and if you have any questions, you can always get in contact. Bye.